In this video, I'm going to show you how to sign up for the Halo Insider program to make sure you get into those Halo Infinite flights that are coming around very soon. So stay tuned throughout the whole video to understand all the details. With 343 dropping nearly daily reminders for people to sign up for the Halo Insider program to join in for those Halo Infinite technical previews, it makes me feel that the flighting process is going to be starting very soon for us Halo players. So I thought with this video would be one, to get the word out that hey, go sign up for the Insider program, and two, I'll show you how to do it for console and for PC as well. So if you want to stay up to date with everything going on with Halo as a ramp up to the release of Halo Infinite, make sure you tap subscribe. So let's get right into the content here. Now I do have this linked in the description down below, but the best way to find it is honestly just go to Google and just type in Halo Insider and they'll search that up. The first link you'll find right here, the Halo Insider program will take you right to the page where you need to go. There you click on sign up right there. Then you want to fill out the information, but you want to make sure that your email account is verified. If it's not verified, 343 will not be sending you invites to join in for the flighting process. Make sure you opt in for emails. This will make it so then you can receive an email from 343 saying that you're invited to the flight process. It does look like they want to spam you with nonsense by having to select I would like information, tips, and offers about the Halo franchise. You want to make sure you have that selected so then you can receive the emails saying that you're invited to the flight process. Now some of you are probably like, yeah, I already signed up and did all this, but make sure your email account is verified. I actually had this happen on Twitter where I posted out a link saying, hey, make sure you're verified your account and someone actually replies saying oh my god i forgot to verify my email by not verifying your email you will not be getting into these halo infinite flights then for your console players you want to make sure you select the option saying that you are considering to play the flight on console so you select yes on that one and what consoles do you currently own at the moment and yes even if you have a basic level xbox one you'll still have a chance to be invited to the flighting process now for you PC players, it's a little more complicated, but not really that much. Basically, you want to select that you are going to be playing this on PC for the flighting process. And then next, you want to upload a DX Diag file. It gives you an easy step-by-step -step process right here and how to get that file. And you add that here with your account here on Halo Waypoint. And then lastly, if you're going to be playing it on Steam, that you want to link your Steam account as well. 343 states if they can't query this information, then most likely you will not be invited to the flights on PC. Then once everything is said and done, it should be looking something like this. Green check marks all around, letting you know that you're currently available to be chosen for the Halo Infinite flighting process. 343 mentioned, like what I said earlier, that there are actually people who are opted into the flight process but have not verified their email accounts. So you want to make sure you guys go ahead and do that before the infinite flights come around. We've seen 343 put a really heavy-handed hint that, hey, these flights are going to be coming out very soon. I'd say most likely in the beginning of August is when we could see the flighting process begin. So if you want to play Halo Infinite early, that's the best and, well, the only way you can do it. Now, if you've been getting into the MCC flights that we've done doing previously just fine then most likely you're just fine but again if you've updated your hardware at all it's super important to go in and update your dx diag file or if you've got a new console say the new series x consoles make sure you update your profile there as well because wouldn't it be a shame if you signed up as an xbox one mcc user didn't touch your profile at all got in series x on pc if you updated your build at all and you just haven't really gone around to updating your profile with the dx diag file and say 343 is looking for people with specific builds and then you don't fit that build process because you didn't update your profile quite the shame as well I actually went through and made sure my stuff was up to date, which I did update my hardware on my PC recently. So I went in and updated my files and everything seems to be working just fine. So if this video helped you at all, and if you got this far in it, well, make sure to tap that like button as it greatly helps out the video and channel. If you've been out of the loop for Halo news recently, I got a playlist right here of my daily uploads for Halo news and information. Thank you so much for watching. Greatly appreciate it. And I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out.